<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to today's workout. Today we're working on core. If you have trouble feeling your abs when you go to the gym and work them out, pay attention to this video because we're gonna get in depth on how to flex everything here properly and build that mind-muscle connection and get a really good burn all around. Stay tuned everyone. This first exercise is something I really like to do to warm up the abs. It really gets that mind-muscle connection on point. So, start by laying down. You can cross your arms over your chest. You can put them up in the air. Doesn't matter. But anyways, watch right here. See that little gap between my spine and the table? You're going to push your spine down by contracting your abs and slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae and then reach and stretch towards your toes. About five seconds of reaching. If you're doing this properly and flexing everything well, you shouldn't feel any strain on your back no matter how hard the surface is. So, Pull that core in, push your spine against the ground or whatever surface you're on. Vertebrae by vertebrae, roll up and reach. Don't pull with your hands, pull with your abs. You're pulling for this stretch. If you do it, if you do it properly, you should feel it right around the tailbone when you stretch. Take it nice and slow, just think about the feeling. That's what matters here. One other tip on this is your legs are not together. They should be shoulder width apart. This is simply to get your mind and your muscles to understand the movements in order to build your core. It's also a pretty good workout. One more rep should do it. Now, we're all ready to go. This next exercise is a hollow body hold. We're gonna take what we just applied and use it in this workout. See the gap? Get rid of it. Get your legs up, get your arms up, and we're just gonna hold for about 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, squeeze your glutes, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and relax. This next one is a little bit different. We're gonna start in plank position. Shoulders behind the elbows. Flex those abs, squeeze the glutes. And we're gonna relax in the shoulders and press as high as you can, eight times. This is five, six, seven, I hope you feel the burn, eight. Mm -hmm. 
I really like this last exercise. So the way it goes is you start with a sun salutation, as they call it in yoga, and then pull your hips up, up, up. Step back with one hand, touch your opposite toe, and back down, flex those abs, step back with the other hand, touch the opposite toe. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart, by the way. That is two. We're gonna go for eight to 10. Three. Push those hips up. Four. Five. Down. Up. Six. Two more. Seven. And eight. I'm doing two more for fun. Nine. Flex those abs. And ten. While you're on your recovery time, consider this. I have a Patreon account for 15 a month, and there I post a lot more videos than I do just on my YouTube. And these videos, they contain a lot of my years of experience with running, parkour, calisthenics, weightlifting, you name it. I've tried it and I've put lots of work into figuring out the best way to put it to use. So check it out if you want to get started in anything fitness-wise, it's a really good place to go. $15 a month, check it out. Thanks everyone. If you stuck around this long, we're doing a challenge. My friend, Caro, and I, are gonna show it to you. So, spread your body out. Hands in front of your head. Squeeze the booty, flex those abs, and take those elbows down to the ground and back up, five to 10 reps. You can do this at the end of every single set or at the end of the whole workout. It's up to you. That was 10 for me. And five for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good work. Move consistently, move creatively. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. <laughs>